we are now at a point where we um, have registered our router and we want to create a pay-per-use hotspot. So first we go to the account and look at the account data there. Now you see there's a payment configuration and we have switched on PayPal as a payment method. Um, there is um, an, uh, obviously a currency to choose and that depends on the payment method. So if we, for example, choose money bookers, uh, we have a lot more um, currencies to choose from. However, um, PayPal is very accepted. Oh, by the way, you can also choose um, more than one payment method and then there will be a cross-section of common currencies between these two. Now, PayPal is very accepted. We're going to go for that and uh, leave it, uh, save our changes. And um, from there, we actually want to now create our own price plans because um, before you create your own price plans, um, ChiliFire will use the standard um, price plans that comes with ChiliFire. So if we open the web page, um, you see um, without our own price plans, we get the standard price plans in your in the, um, home currency that you've maintained. But um, um, I will, we want our own. So we press insert and uh, first of all, we make sure it's set for active. We want uh, this uh, price plan to be available for online purchase and vouchers. You have uh, elapsed time or a usage based or periodical, periodical as basic options. We stay with a simple elapsed time plan. There's no usage limits there. And it's a one off payment and one off uh, access for 30 minutes in this example. Uh, we can also limit the speed here. I'll give it sort of one megabyte um, uh, download speed and uh, uh, 256 uh, kilobytes per second upload. Uh, once people have logged on, I want them to be able to, uh, uh, do, I want them to be redirected to uh, my website and I want this uh, to cost $3. I save that and you see how that plan is there and it's active. So when I um, open a browser, um, the standard um, payment options will be gone and we will see our new price plan here. The, the, the system has automatically constructed a name here, 30 minutes access to the internet. Now I can create um, a second one if I wish. So um, um, again, it should be available for large internet. This time a usage-based plan. There's a couple of more fields that come up. Um, I, the usage can be either online time or data limits. I take total data, upload and download, which means I have to, um, it's still a one-off plan. Um, I have to give it a usage allowance. So it's, we'll say 100 megabytes are under, allowed under that plan. And the, uh, the user expires after four, um, four hours, regardless whether the 100 megabytes have been used or not. I give a faster speed, two megabytes, uh, download 512 kilobytes per second um, upload. And again, I choose uh, the, that the user should be redirected after successful login to my own website. Um, and uh, price I choose this time, uh, say $5. I save this. Great. And uh, I hadn't set it actively immediately. So um, if I open the browser, this price plan will not yet show. Um, this is uh, to demonstrate that uh, you actually have to activate a price plan before it actually is shown. So I've, I've pressed in, uh, activate and now when I refresh the page, uh, login page, you see how this other plan uh, comes up, this new plan. Um, I'll close that and uh, I'll show you something else. You can give this plan a um, uh, individual name. So um, I call it here browser little. And uh, when I save uh, this, plan, submit, and open a browser. You will see how um, uh, the price plan shows with a name, uh, but it still um, explains um, what it actually is all about, 100, meg 100 megabytes total data. So that's um, um, the, the core of it. Um, this now allows you to um, create your own sets of price plans and um, um, really design your hotspot commercially uh, as you as it suits your own needs.